Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pix and Perfect, and today I'm going to share with you how to create the popular pixel stretching effect in Photoshop in three simple steps. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the brilliant world of Photoshop, and as usual, if you want to go ahead and download this photo and follow along, you already know, my friend, what to do. Check the links in the description. The first step here is simply separating the subject. You can use any technique you want here, but keep in mind, the quality of your pixel stretching will absolutely depend upon how good your selection is. So in this case, I would highly recommend that you use the pen tool to do it. How to do it? Well, just select the pen tool by clicking on in here or simply press P for the pen tool. Then just start making the selection. Another key point here is that try to stay a little inside. All right, because if you are on a line like this, it might sample some different color than what you want. You want the pixel stretch here to have a red, right? But if you sample just at the very edge, it has some grays, it has some browns. So it might be misleading. Similarly, let's take a look right here. We want the pixel stretch to have his skin color. The edge pixel would be stretched. But in this case, if you just take the pixels, the very edge pixels, it might take these pink pixels, which might not look okay. That's why it is essential that you stay a little inside while you create that path with the pen tool. So let's say I start right here. So I'm going to stay a little, start a little inside and then continue. All right. Even more inside if you can. Just try to avoid these edge pixels. All right. And this way, we'll just continue creating the path. Now, if you want to learn how to use the pen tool, I would highly recommend that you watch this video. To save time, I've already done it. So once you create the path, you can always save it by simply renaming it. Let's say I created this path. In the paths tab, it'll be there as work path. Just rename it and it will be stored for you. I'm just going to hit cancel. We don't need it. I already made this subject path right here. As you can see, I tried to stay as inside as possible. Look here, look here. Always on the inside to create a perfect pixel stretch, especially from where you're going to stretch the pixels. All right. How to make a selection out of this? Hold the controller command and click on the thumbnail. Or you can also hit control enter or command enter. It also makes a selection. Now keep in mind, we have to stay inside the hair as well. We'll repair the hair later. Don't worry about it right now. Just stay inside all these fuzziness. Now, while you have done this, while you're while the selection is active, press control or command J twice. Now you have two duplicates. One is simply a reserve. We can use this later for different purposes in case you need it. I always have a reserve. And this one is the one that we are going to stretch. Let's name this stretch. Now to stretch it, the process is pretty simple. Just play the action and that takes us to step number two. Step two is simply play the pixel stretching action and create the pixel stretch. That's it. Yes, you heard it right. I'm going to give you a free action to do this. Now, just to make things a little complicated for you so that you also take this seriously, I'm not going to give you all the actions. You're going to have to create some yourself. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Take this as your assignment. So back in Photoshop, just turn off the reserve. We don't need it now. Now let's go to the actions tab. If you cannot find it, just simply go to window and then click on actions. Now here I have some actions, 125 pixels, 250 pixels, 500 pixels. They're just going to pixel stretch by 125, 250 or 500. If you want more, just play the 500 twice or 250 thrice or play the 500. If you want a little more, play the 250 again. You get the point. Let me play 125 for you to share with you what it actually is. So we're going to go back to the actions, select 125 and just play it. It's going to make 125 copy and every copy it's going to move one pixel to the left hand side. Now, as you can see, it's doing it in the background. You don't have to worry about a single thing. This, in my opinion, is the most realistic way to do it. There are other ways to pixel stretch where you take different elements of the body and then stretch it. But this to me looks the most realistic. Now, since we were inside, look how wonderful this pixel stretches. 
just wonderful. It moves 125 pixels. Now, how is it exactly working? Well, let me share that with you and how you can create an action like this. Let me delete all of these layers. Okay, this is how it was. All you have to do and all it is doing is this. It is just making a duplicate by pressing Ctrl or Command J and then moving the body one pixel to the left. So if you have the Move tool selected and you press the left arrow key while you're zoomed in, it'll move it one pixel to the left here. You'll be able to see more clearly. Let's do that again. Control or Command J, left arrow key, Control or Command J, left arrow key, Control or Command J, left arrow key. I'm gonna do this a couple times for you. And as you can see, the pixels are stretching. See here, see the pixel stretch? We just did that with the action 125 times. Now, how do you create an action? Well, pretty simple. I just created 125's action and just copied all of it twice and pasted it inside 250. I took all the steps inside 250 and copied and pasted twice inside of 500. So that's how I created the 500 pixels. I didn't do it 500 times, don't worry. So anyway, the easiest way to create an action is this. First of all, let's start again at the very beginning. I'm sorry if my videos go too long. It's just that I make sure that you understand why certain things are happening. And it's important for me that you understand that you can do the whole thing yourself. It's easier for me to give you an action and just tell you to play it. But you need to understand how that action is created or what is going on in the background as well to master Photoshop. All right. So to create an action, you would just click on the new action button. Now select the set you want. So if I want it inside the pixel stretching set, just select that set or you can create a new set by clicking on this button. I'm going to just keep it inside this set. Click on the plus to create a new action. And let's name this, let's say 10 pixels to the left hand side. If I was moving to the right, it would be right. But in this case, we are moving it to the left. So let's name it left. All right. Hit the record button. Now, all you got to do is to press Control or Command J. And while you're zoomed in, just notice it that we are moving it to the left by pressing the left arrow key once. All right. Do that again. Do that 10 times. Did that ten, 10 times? Stop it. Now you have 10 pixels to the left, right? Now you can delete all of that and test this action. Just select the stretch layer and let's play the 10 pixels one. Now, as you can notice, it is stretched by 10 pixels. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, once you have stretched it by 10 pixels and you don't want to play the action again, well, you can select the first layer, hold the shift key, select the last layer, press Ctrl or Command E to merge it all and then make a copy of that again. Press Ctrl or Command J and then move it. Now you have 20. You see that? Merge both of these two, press Ctrl or Command J again. Now you have how much? 40, right? Around 40 because we didn't perfectly move it. All right, let's do the same process again. Now we have how much? 80. So this way you can just keep doubling. But to make things simpler for you, I have these actions. It's just going to make things simpler. Anyway, so let's just go to where we were. So here we have our stretch layer back. And simply let's play the 500 pixels to the left action. Your homework or assignment here, if you want, is you create actions for the right hand side because sometimes you might want to stretch it on the right. Anyway, let's select 500 pixels left and play it. Now keep in mind, you don't create a thousand pixels left action because if you have a thousand or maybe in most cases it won't happen, but let's say it's a very high resolution image and if you make a thousand layers, it's going to maybe crash Photoshop or maybe crash your computer or system or scratch disks in most cases, it's most likely to be full. Anyway, so it's at 350-ish. Let's wait a little more. Just look at the pixel stretching. It looks so cool, isn't it? And as I told you, the secret is proper selection. If you're on the inside, just look how smooth and nice this is. Now, we definitely want this stretching to extend all throughout. Do we have to again play the 500 action and create 500 more layers? 
not really. You just have to select the topmost layer, hold the shift key and select the bottommost layer, which is the stretch layer. So all of these layers are selected. Press Ctrl or Command E to merge it all. Next, just simply make a copy of that merged layer. So once they are merged, simply press Ctrl or Command J. All right. Now with the bottom copy or the top copy, uh, you can just move it a little more to the right. Now at this point, it begins to break. So let's make one more copy. Press Ctrl or Command J. And now at this point, it completely finishes the stretching process. So you can merge all of them together. So select the first one, hold the shift key, select the bottom most one for the stretch, press Ctrl or Command E. Let's just simply name it stretch and there you have it, your stretched image. Now let's move it a little back. The background might be showing up a little. So just above the background, let's create a solid color adjustment layer. Any color would do for the moment and there you have it. Now I feel that the canvas is just too small. Let's make this a little larger. Press C for the crop tool and let's create a 16 by 9 ratio. Let's extend it all. That looks all right. Hit enter or return. Now we have a larger canvas to work with. Now if you try to create a straight selection with the single column marquee tool, you would notice that there is no point where the stretching comes all throughout. So you need to extend it even more. Make one more copy of the stretch and then let's move it a little bit more to the left. All right, this might be just too much but it works. Let's merge both of these. So select the first one, hold the control or command, select the second one, press control or command E. Now it is just more than what we need. So with the single column marquee tool, we're just going to make a selection of one column of all the pixels. If you cannot see it, let me zoom in and show you. It's just one column and make a copy of that. Press control or command J. Now just that one column is on this layer. If I zoom in, you'll be able to see just that one column. Now we need to stretch it. Hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the eye to make everything visible back again. Press Ctrl or Command T. Hold the Shift key and stretch it. Stretch it as much as you want. So I'm going to stretch it a little more. Stretch it till the subject. It looks cool. Hit Enter or Return. So here we have the actual pixel stretch that we are going to use. Now you can turn off the stretch copy, turn back on the reserve. That's why we had it. Let's rename it subject because you never know when you might need it. All right, let's place it at the very top. This is going to be the actual one that we're going to use. Now let's name the stretch layer pixel stretch. Take the simple humble lasso tool and just start at one edge right here and make a selection across the subject. As simple as that. And delete the extras. I'm sorry, I missed it. Hold the shift key so that you can add to this selection. Make sure everything looks great. If anything needs to be added or subtracted, just look at the edges. So I'm going to add a little more here, probably. And all we have to do is to press the delete key. There you have it. The excess is gone. Moving on to the last step and that is simply warping the stretch. With the pixel stretch layer selected, right click on it and then choose convert to smart object so that no matter in what shapes you warp, you can always change back and get back to it later. Let's move the whole thing a little down. So select the pixel stretch, hold the subject and also hold the stretch copy. You might need that later. Press Ctrl or Command T and let's bring it down. Keep it at the center. This looks cool or maybe a little up because we're going to be creating shadows later. Bonus tip coming soon. So select the pixel stretch layer, press Ctrl or Command T, right click on it and then choose warp and warp it any which way you want. So I'm going to take this point all the way up just like this. Already it's looking fantastic. I'm going to take this point and bring it down. Now you can play with these handles to make it look a little more exciting and just see what speaks to you, what looks good to you. Just experiment here. So there you go, my friend. It is pretty much done. All the concepts that I wanted to explain and that are essential for pixel stretching, we have already covered it. So if you're still sticking around, I wanted to thank you for staying so long in the video. And just as a token of appreciation, I'm going to give you a bonus step, which is step number four. And that is some finishing touches, actually. 
Now, this is something which you won't see in many other instruction manuals about pixel stretching. If you want realistic pixel stretching, it should be right here as well, right? It should be right here by the side of the head as well, right? It just cannot be only on one edge, just doesn't look right. To make it more natural, as if it was actually happening in three-dimensional space, just turn on the stretch copy right there. Now we need to align it definitely. So bring the stretch copy all the way to the top and change the blend mode to difference just so that you can align it. Press Ctrl or Command T and it will snap right in. Once it is completely black, it just means that it has been aligned. Now you can change it back to normal. You might see some discrepancies here, definitely. So we don't want all of it, just little bits of it. So hold the Alt key or the Option key and click on the mask button. Take the brush with a soft round brush, white as the foreground color, just bring back these areas, that's it. All right, that's it. Just bring back the areas you want here as well. There you have it. And now have a look. Isn't that looking a little more realistic? And don't forget to bring it under the subject. Let's name this extra pixel stretch. Also, I feel that we need some realistic backgrounds here. Why not use the actual background that we already had? Well, hold the Alt key or the Option key and click on the eye of the background so that only that original image shows up. Make a copy of it because we want to have a backup. I pressed Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate. Now let's make a selection of the subject again and expand it simply. For that, you don't have to do any rocket science. Just choose the quick selection tool and at the top, just click on select subject and then just simply expand it. Go to select, modify and then expand it and expand it by about 40 pixels. There you go. And then edit content aware fill. Now we can go with the default settings and we want to output to the current layer and hit OK. Press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Now press Ctrl or Command D and simply stretch it. Hold the Shift key and stretch it. You can also blur it later if you want to. If you're seeing some stretch lines here and there, you can blur it, but to me, it looks okay. Now let's turn the pixel stretch on, extra pixels, and then we have our subject. Have a look, it also comes with the shadow. Also another quick tip, if you want to repair the hair here, although it's not needed, you can just simply just turn on the original image original layer, sorry. And then you can just make a selection of this area. So let's select all of this. Press Ctrl or Command J off that. And then just turn everything back on. So the new background, the pixel stretch and the extra pixel stretch, turn everything back on and just bring the head all the way at the very top above the subject. Now you have just the head here. Now again, we need to make a proper selection of this. So again, you can go to select and mask and then just select that head. So I'm just going to click on select subject. Now it's going to make a selection of that area. And also we want to go to the refine edge tool, just do the hair a little properly. Now the hair looks good. Hit OK. Now it has a proper selection. Now we don't want any of that. So we're just going to erase all of the excessive selection because we sampled all the layers. Anyway, so now that we have it, we can click on the mask button. Press Ctrl or Command T and just place it here. Now you can change the blend mode to difference to just make sure that you align it properly while you do that. So there you go, it's properly aligned. Now let's change it back to normal. And there you have it, there you have a good hair. Now what you can also do, you can select the mask and bring back some additional hair here. Paint with white, be a little careful. Now this area just doesn't look nice due to the halos, no problem, create one more layer. By the way, just name it good hair. And let's name this Fill Halos. Take the Clone Stamp tool, make sure the sample is set to current and below. Hold the Alt key, the Option key, click to take a sample and fill up these areas. Now some of you might say Unmesh has gone crazy, but wait, let me just completely first fill up these areas. Now we only want to limit it just to good hair, so hold the Alt key or the Option key and click on the line between these two layers and there you go. You have the perfect hair and also the perfect pixel stretch. Isn't this fantastic? Do you want more tips? Well, here's one more tip. Create a solid color adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose solid color. Doesn't matter whatever color that is. And hold the Alt key or the Option key. Make sure it is clipped to pixel stretch. So click between these two layers. Now let's turn it off, double click on it and select the bright red here. 
You can also go even brighter, choose whatever color you want, just modify it according to you. And now, select the mask, press Ctrl or Command I to invert it. Turn this on. Make sure you change the blend mode to screen and this is only for lighting. Select the mask, take the brush, take a soft round brush with white as the foreground color, just a dab where you think it's gonna shine a bit. So this is the place where it's gonna shine, I feel. So let's paint just like this here. All right, some additional lighting. Now we didn't want the lighting to get in here. So take the pen tool and then we're gonna start making a curve from here to there. Let's finish the loop. Control enter, command enter to make a selection and then fill it with black. With black as the foreground color, press X to switch between the foreground and the background. Press Alt Backspace or Option Delete on a Mac. Now as you can see the extra lights are gone. Press Ctrl or Command D. Now if you want you can also add some blend diff to it. So double click on the right hand side of the limb. Take it away from the dark areas. Hold the Alt key or the Option key. Click on the slider to break it apart. And take that away from the extra dark areas. And there you have it. Do you want even one more tip? There you go. Why not create some shadows? So make a group of all of the stretching that we have done. So extra pixel stretch, select that. Hold the shift key, select the pixel stretch. So all of these three are selected. Press Ctrl or Command G. Now, for the subject, just double click on the right hand side. Click on drop shadow. Select drop shadow. Just make sure you increase the size according to your taste and then you can move the shadow accordingly. But what I would recommend is that you just hit OK with black selected and the blend mode, make sure it's multiply and hit OK. Whatever color you choose, you can select. You can also choose red or whatever you'd like. Hit OK. Now, let's go to layer, layer style and create layer. Hit OK. This separates the drop shadow. What that allows us to do is that it gives us a lot more flexibility. So I can move it and place it anywhere I want. So I feel that this looks to be about right. And we're gonna set the opacity to about 30 here. And we're gonna make one more copy of this. Press Ctrl or Command J. Now with this copy, we'll just stretch it further. Hold the Alt key and the Shift key. And I'm just gonna stretch it a little further. And there you have. Now we want this to be limited to the pixel stretch. We don't want it to leak outside. So select the first one, hold the Alt key or the Option key and click on the button between the stretch group and the drop shadow. Do the same with the top one. Now it's limited just to the stretch. Select both of those and you can set the opacity to whatever you wish. Let's try 20 or 25. I feel that 25 would work like a charm. And there you have it, my friend, your pixel stretch effect. With a lot of tips at the end. It's just simply three steps. First step, separate the subject. Second step, just simply create the pixel stretch. And to do that, just make a copy, move one pixel. Make a copy, move one pixel. You can action to do that automatically. After you do that, just select one single line of pixels and just simply stretch it. There you have the stretch. And then third step is simply use warp to just warp the stretch in whatever way you want. After that, everything is just special effects according to your personalized tastes. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Recently, I've been getting a lot of messages from people that they're not getting notifications of the videos that I upload, even if they have turned notifications on for this channel. I don't know why that's happening, so if you want to stay updated, just check out the channel regularly. Either ways, I would also like to thank all of these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon for moments like this where YouTube just goes wonky and making Pixim Perfect a free channel for everybody forever. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.